Spent the morning, John, with that crowd scientist. She's damaged goods, all right. Just like all those chumps they scraped out of them prison camps. But she's no crackpot. She's gonna make me the kind of scratch that'll have Ryan look like he's running a paper route. She just needs some supplies to get the ball rolling and a friend to watch her back. This lamb twist went after Ryan all cockeyed. Solidarity angle was smart at first. Poor houses and bread lines. High grade bunko. And that religious rights debate? <laughs> Gotta wonder if she staged it just to watch Ryan squirm up there in his monkey suit. Lamb's only problem is she really buys into the whole song and dance. Saving the world? Ha! Rapture just ain't her town. Ryan's got her on ice somewhere now. And I figured that opens up the charity scam for the professional. These sad saps. They come to Rapture thinking they're gonna be captains of industry. But they all forget that somebody's gotta scrub the toilets. What an angle they gave me. I hand these mugs a cart and a bowl of soup, and they give me their lives. Who needs an army when I got Fontaine's home for the poor? Su Chong, what the hell were you thinking? Drinkable plasmids? We're burning through ten times the amount of atom compared to the injectables. And if you fail to notice, them sea slugs ain't exactly growing on trees. Switch back to the injectables and let the eggheads in marketing worry about selling it to the chumps. Every time Ryan turns up the heat, I know I'm a little bit closer to beating him at his own game. But now the game's changing. Ryan's boys are coming in heavy, looking to knock down my door and take what's mine. Like this is the first time I had to dodge a bullet. They're coming to my house expecting a show, but they're gonna get a disappearing act. Say goodbye to Fontaine. And hello to Atlas. The time has come, brothers and sisters. Did you want to keep climbing Andrew Ryan's ladder? Just to watch him knock it down as you're reaching the top? The cards are stacked. What's a bunch of fine words? If there ain't deeds to back them up. Rapture was supposed to be different. But the only thing that separates it from the slums of New York or Glasgow are about a million gallons of salt water. Ryan sent a clear message when he had Frank Fontaine put down. It's time all you learned your place. I tell you what, Ryan. Message received. Loud and clear. And here's what the people of Rapture have to say to you. If you won't give us what we want, we're more than happy to come and take it. Sushong, I'm gonna make this clear as can be, so we don't have any miscommunications. Where the hell is the ace in the hole? You think you can stiff Frank Fontaine? I paid good money for state-of-the-art weaponry. I ain't losing this war just because you found yourself a higher bidder. I can promise you, I ain't never been one to lose with dignity. My name is Atlas, and let me ask you a question. Who's looking out for you? Who's got your back? 
That stuffed shirt, Ryan. Hardly. You think he locked us up down here because we did anything wrong? The only mistake we ever made is not playing the big man's game. You join up with me, you have my word that you and your loved ones will be looked after. I don't give a fig about money. I don't care about stature. All I want is a fair shake. And brother, you deserve a fair shake. You think you're alone down here? Well, brother, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You ain't alone. No, Atlas stands by your side, ready to tell all them silver spoon types like Andrew Ryan where they can stuff it. Come on up to see your pal Atlas at the redistribution booth and he'll put food in your belly and hope in your heart. Just because you're down, it don't mean you're out. My name is Atlas, and I'm here to share a secret. We're not dying down here. We're heading back to Rapture. And when we do, I promise you, there will be a reckoning. You stand by me, and we'll toast each other's health, not at some dodgy pub in Neptune's bounty, no. You stick with Atlas. It's oysters and a fine stout at the best table at the Kashmir. What's the hold-up? This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. Put the gun down. Now, what was that you said about Rapture? And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. If you don't mind me asking, love, why are you talking to nobody? If I had pegged you for a loon, I might have had second thoughts on our arrangement. You're in no position to make demands. But I must confess, I do like a bit of sass in a lass. A favour? I don't suppose you've conjured up the miracle you promised yet? You might try where they hawk them new bathospheres. As I hear it, old man winter's the only thing keeps their batteries from bursting into flames after five minutes. Think nothing of it, but it's the last favor you'll be getting. Any progress, love? I must confess, I'm becoming a wee bit skeptical. You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam. And there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters, and some very slow ones. Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? That's fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. I'll make sure you've access to the private elevator. Now hurry. Didn't your mum ever teach you not to put your faith in strange foreign men? You've got that right. The girl means nothing. But you, love, you mean the world. The Kashmir's all home to hell. If Ryan didn't know we were back before, I'm sure now he's got the message. If anybody's got the line on the ace, it's her. Find out what she knows. But no quackery. She's no good to us with a halo and a set of wings. Two weeks. You've been down two weeks, love. Feckin' doctors. Better off hiring a million monkeys.
I'd tend to your own knitting if I were you. Now, darling, being that you were Su Chong's lab assistant and all, why not tell me where me ace in the hole went to? As I said, I'm no doctor. But that doesn't mean I don't find the field fascinating. I keep up on all the medical journals and the like. You know what part of the brain free will comes from? Stubbornness? The prefrontal lobe. Now, I think it's fair to say you're a bit of a stubborn one, are you not? man named Steinman taught me this. He's a bit of a lunatic, but a fine surgeon. He calls this little trick a transorbital lobotomy. Take hold of her, lads. Now, if you won't remain still, I can't be held responsible for what comes next. Here we go. Uh, you feel that? I'm moving the pick across your eyeball. Oh, still now. And resting it on your skull. There's about a bit over a quarter of an inch of bone between the pick and your prefrontal lobe. And that's where this little fella comes in. Shh, it was just a wee tap. But I don't expect it'll take more than a few of those to reach the meat. And then we might find you a bit less the mule. Where's me ace in the hole? You know what else rests in the lobe? Creativity, individuality, personality. In short, what makes you, you. Ah, I'm just about through now. Last chance, pet. Where is the ace in the hole? Ah! Bring in the monster! You're a regular hero, ain't you? Can't risk ripping the only part of you that's worth the damn. Well, there's more than one way to fry an egg. Now, little one, are you familiar with the term transorbital lobotomy? It's a simple matter. All I need do is insert this pick into your eye and give it a few taps with me hammer. Better to show by example. That's a bit convenient now. Ryan's got every turret in the place tuned to me and me man's genetic code. We'd be torn to shreds before we got ten feet. Get me the ace, I'll wrap the brat in a silk ribbon. Bag her and bring her to my bathosphere. One of the lads will show you how to get inside. We'll be waiting for you where you come out. Shake a leg now. The Lord hates a laggard. Hey, sister. Over here. Do you have it? Give it over then. I'm keen to get this brat off me hands. Well, love, if you insist. Yeah! What is this? It's just a bunch of gibberish. What, what does, does this say, say, you little whore? Hey, 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 hey! What does this say? We've got the activation phrase. Now all we've got to do is get that genetic freak of nature on an airplane and rapture's ours. Yeah! New face. I have a new goddamn face. Who'd have thought? Rapture. Paradise of the confidence man. I gotta keep revising the Atlas voice. I figure the accent gives me an excuse to lock myself in a room with a bottle and count the cash. War's on in full now, boy. And I've got a hell of a surprise for Andrew Ryan. Long time coming. And right about now, I expect the prodigal son is booking his flight. Never play a man for the short con when you can play him for the long one. Atlas is the longest con of all. Ryan wanted Frank Fontaine dead. I just gave him what he wanted. As Atlas, I got a new face, a clean record, and a fresh start. Now, it's time to take back, Ranger. Help me, so please. Oh, Mrs. McClintock! What are you doing here? Let me just... turn this off. This is a fire room, sir. But the lighthouse is all lit up like hellfire. Looks like some kind of plane.
plane crash. We're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. How could it? I don't know. You best get over there. And be quick about it. The splicers are coming. Uh, you gotta be kidding. How do you know someone's even coming? Because we got a bathysphere on its way down. That means we've got company. Johnny, security's banging off all over. Get a move on! Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? Grab that shortwave now. That splicer's out there still. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. Take a deep breath and step out of the bathysphere. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. We're gonna need to draw her out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. Just a bit further. How do you like that, sister? Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer, seal Johnny in before they... Goddamn splicers. Steady now. Your genetic code is being rewritten. Just hold on and everything will be fine. You all right, boy? First time plasma's a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Looks like you've run out of Eve. The juice that powers up your plasmids. I'll send you some backup in the new mo tube. You all tapped out again? All right. Sending you some more Eve in the new mo. Splicer! Give him the combo. Zap him, then whack him. One-two punch. Remember, the one-two punch! Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe... I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now, but you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Plasmids changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electrobolt. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? You think that's a child down there? Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants it, everybody needs it. That's the big daddy. She gathers Adam. He keeps her safe. It's Ryan! Goddamn Andrew Ryan! He's found us! Damn us! He shut off access to Neptune. There's another way to get there. Head to medical. What are you waiting for? Go! Oh, Christ! You're trapped! Gonna try to override the exit from here! I got us! Get out of there! Get out now! Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. If you want to use the emergency access, you'll be needing Dr. Steinman's key. He's the one that runs this place. But I don't expect him to hand it to you out of the milk of human kindness. Steinman ain't that kind. And frankly, I'm not even sure he's still human. Now you've rattled a monkey cage. Here they come! You keep an eye peel for Steinman. The daft bastard set up shop in the surgery wing. You want to find him? Just follow the blood. Remember, all them machines will short out right and proper if you hit them with electrobolt. You'll have to find some way to get through to surgery and Steinman. Chin up now. The Lord hates a quitter. 
I can hear that splicer sounding off like it's the 4th of July. Explosives are hard to come by down here. But if you get your hands on one of them telekinesis plasmids, you can catch the damn firebombs and toss it right back in his gob. Or anything else that might be standing in your way. I can hear that splicer sounding off like it's the 4th of July. Explosives are hard to come by down here. If only you could get your hands on some of them bombs he's tossing. Things like that could help you turn the tables or clear a path. Security cameras. I can hear the infernal things all around you. Ryan's eyes and ears. All roads in Rapture lead to Ryan. The security, the splicers, the big daddies, the little sisters. He pumps some kind of chemical scent in the air. Pheromones, they call it. Makes them all dance to his tune. You all right? It was time somebody took care of that sick bastard. Make sure you get the key off, Stoyman. And head back to emergency access. I'm working my way to the backside of Port Neptune myself. We'll get there soon enough. Sounds like another tunnel collapse. Welcome to Rapture, the world's fastest growing pile of junk. It's a little one. Here's your chance to get some Adam. Easy now, Doctor. He's just looking for a wee bit of Adam. Just enough to get by. It's okay, lad. It's not a child. Not anymore, it ain't. Dr. Tenenbaum saw to that. Aye, that's a pretty sermon coming from the ghoul who cooked up them creatures in the first place. Took fine little girls and turned them into that, didn't you? Listen to me, boyo. You won't survive without the Adam those things are carrying. Are you prepared to trade your life, the lives of my wife and child, for Tenenbaum's little Frankensteins? That Adam should do the trick. You did the right thing. Just remember, them things aren't people no more. And it's Dr. Tenenbaum they've got to thank for us. Tenenbaum's playing you for a sap. Those things may look like wee little girls, but looks don't make it so. You need all the Adam you can get to survive. If you cross paths with another of them gatherer's garden machines, make sure you pick up a new plasma or two. That's if the price ain't too dear, of course. You're ready now. It's time to take on one of them big daddies. It won't be easy, but it's the only way to get to the little sisters. And the Adam they carry. Are you almost back to emergency access? Come through as soon as you get there. You got Ryan's eye now. You won't hear him coming, but he'll be there before you know it. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. Come through to Port Neptune now. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand. Now you've had the pleasure of Andrew Ryan's company. He's the one who built this place, and he's the one who ran it into the ground. Nobody knows exactly what happened. Maybe he went mad. Maybe the power got to him. Maybe he just decided he didn't like people. Whichever way you slice it, good men died. My family's in a submarine hidden in the foundation of Fontaine Fisheries. I'll meet you there. Grown man jumping at ghosts. Fontaine's dead, and everybody knows it. In the ground for months, and half the place still jumping at his shadow. Christ, even Ryan. You never mind all that. We got work to do. Seems like old Peach knows where to find a research camera. He seems a decent enough sort. No doubt he'll wait until after you've done his errands to stick a shiv in your belly. The research camera looks just like one you'd see topside. According to this magazine article I scrounged up, it can also analyze genetic information, parse biological structures, and lots of other $5 words. You have the research camera? Good. Guess it's time to get to work for old Peachy. Take the man's pictures, and let's get the hell out of this place. The thought of me wife and child hiding in that filthy submarine makes me blood boil. Help me get them to safety, and I'll be in your debt for life. I took me wife on our first date to this place. You must think I'm a fool. Taking a fine lady to a dump like this. But you don't know me, Moira. Give her a string of pearls and a silk gown and she'll dance a waltz. 
give her a sea shanty and a bottle of rum. She'll drink a pirate under the table. Sounds like that should about do it. Head on back to Fontaine Fisheries when you're ready, would you kindly? Me wife, Moira. She's a right pain in the neck. But she's a beauty. And she means the world to me. I can't help feel God's punishing me for bringing her and Patrick to this place. I thought this would be a better life for us. Can you imagine a bigger fool than that? Before you head into the fisheries, a word to the wise. Old PG seems about as straight as a dog's hind leg. You keep your eyes open. If that's his price, you're gonna have to pay it. But he can't very well take your plasmas away now, can he? The submarine bay was only used by smugglers and thieves. More than likely, the entrance will be hidden. Better to keep the coppers off the scent. You got it! Should be smooth sailing from here. I'll meet you up ahead. I'm right outside the submarine bay, but I can't get in. I'll need you for that. My family can't be more than a hundred yards away. Hit the switch up there in the control booth and let me in. I think it's time to shake hands and get acquainted. Can you hear me, family in the sub? Are they making any noise at all? You blow a fuse up there! Can't see a damn thing in that boot! Give me a tick and I'll get you out of there! Moira! Can you hear me in there, darling? Splicers! They're everywhere! I can't hold them! I've got to fall back! Get me family out and we'll regroup as soon as we can! Get out if you can! Get out and we'll regroup! The sub! No! Get out! Get out and get to Arcadia! Jesus Christ! Moira! Patrick! Ain't that just like Ryan? Waits until we're almost out and then he pulls the string. We'll find the bastard. We'll find him and we'll tear his heart out. You get to the bathosphere in the rolling hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. And then all debts will be paid in full. Rolling Hills is over yonder, and the bathosphere station is as well. And then straight on to Ryan. You might hear things about me, see my name about, think what you will. There was a time I cared about politics, but it's just an excuse men use to kill one another. I'm done with all that. I just want to see the sunlight again. This isn't right. I'm going to need you to listen to me. I'm no sort of botanist, but I think Ryan has just killed Arcadia. The man's put something foul into the air. Bottom of the ocean, Boyo. All the oxygen comes from the trees. No trees, no oxygen. Give me a spell to think. Ryan's woman in Arcadia is an old Betty named Langford. An okay sort, but not above doing a dirty job for a dollar. If she's still kicking around, I'm sure she's gonna want to save her trees. After all, she planted the damn things. Damn city built to not let anyone out in the event of this kind of emergency. Either we get those trees back, or you're a permanent resident. Every time we get a yard ahead, Ryan goes and moves the goal line down to the other side of the field. Arcadia's a big place, but mostly rural. If you're looking for something in particular, I'd start at the farmer's market. Why do they wear those masks? Maybe there's a part of them that remembers how they used to be, how they used to look. And they're ashamed. Do you have all the components for the Lazarus Spectre yet? If you do, best head to a crafting station. Then, head back to Langford's lab and put the whole witch's brew in the mister. That should clear this fog right up. Would you kindly get this thing crafted already? Air's only getting thinner down here. From the sounds of that you invent, 
I'm guessing you're the proud papa of a brand new Lazarus Vector. Now drop the Vector into a gadget called the Central Misting Control. Then we'll be cooking with gas. Ah! Listen to the damn thing gurgle and crack! How long is it gonna take? Ryan's got your number. No doubt he'll be sending company. Best to head back to the lab entrance and seal her up. Might be the only way to keep the splicers out. I sent your wee package through the pneumo. It's not much, but every little bit counts. What are you waiting for, Boyle? Ryan's lads are on their way. Get the lab entrance sealed. Did you get that door closed? Good. That should buy some time. Oh, Christ! Here they come! For Christ's sake, how long is that damn vector gonna take to cook? You're about halfway there. Keep your hand on the throttle. Ryan's skin jobs aren't the type to get complacent. What was that? Is the vector ready? What are you waiting for? Hit the damn switch! Well done, lad! Take a deep breath and enjoy it. Then head over to Roland Hills and get the bathosphere. Next stop is Ryan's house. It's time for blood. You're almost there. The sphere to Ryan is up on ahead. Ryan's handed the keys to Fort Frolic over to a guy named Sander Cohen. Cohen's an artist, says some. He's a Section 8, says I. I've seen all kinds of cutthroats, freaks, and hard cases in my life. But Cohen is a real lunatic. He's a war psychopath. What happened to you? I've been trying to raise you for a dog's age. Never mind. Would you kindly leg it over to the sphere and get on down to Hephaestus? It's time to settle up with Ryan. Watch yourself. Ryan's stirring. We best keep to our knitting. It's time to either run the table or go home empty. Ryan's got the genetic key to Rapture. We get that from him and we get out of this hellhole. We don't, then you and I are ghosts. Now would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? It's time to finish this. Does it look like it's a real bob? It better. You got to put it on the core past geothermal control. And we'll see if these needle noses knew what the hell they were talking about. Looks like the ocean's got an itch to retake this corner of rapture. This happened right after the start of the war. Read about it in the papers. Head on in. I'll see what I can dig up to help. I'm no engineer, but if I read these plans right, you can channel that magma flow using the redirect valve. It'll boil off that water right quick, and you'll be able to reach the core. But Ryan's sure to take notice. Might want to set up a perimeter just to be certain. Are they all dead? Hope so. Best be heading on to the core. Christ! What a racket you're making down there! If you've searched the core, then there's only one more task to be done. Head on back to Ryan's gate and throw the circuit breaker. That'll let you right into his place. What? Ryan set the core to self-destruct. This is different than what you did. He's got a mind to take down the whole damn city. Get in there and whack the chunk before the whole joint blows. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Hurry now! Grab Ryan's genetic key! Now would you kindly put it in that goddamn machine? <sighs> nice work! By <laughs> It's time to end this little masquerade. 
There ain't no Atlas, kid. Never was. Fell in my line of work. Takes on a variety of aliases. Hell, once I was even a Chinaman for six months. But you've been a sword. So I guess I owe you a little honesty. The name's Frank Fontaine. I gotta say, I had a lot of business partners in my life, but you, of course, the fact that you were genetically conditioned to bark like a cocker spaniel when I said, would you kindly, might have had something to do with it, but still. Now, as soon as that machine finishes processing the genetic key you just fished off Ryan, I'm gonna run Rapture tits to toes. You've been a pal, but you know what they say? Never mix business with friendship. Thanks for everything, kid. Don't forget to say hi to Ryan for me. And now you've got hooked up with Tenenbaum, huh, kid? She's a regular mother goose. All right, fun's fun, kid. But now, go get stepped on by a big daddy. Would you kindly? Huh? I says, would you kindly go get stepped on by a big daddy? Ah. Seems like Mother Goose has been playing around in your egg salad. If you won't dance to that tune, I got others. Code Yellow. I just told your brain to tell your heart to stop beating. Not right off the bat, mind you. The heart's a stubborn muscle, but it ain't that stubborn. That's it, kid. You're Busto. My new friends will catch up with you soon. Ah, uh, kid. I hope they make it quick. I don't like this any more than you do, kid. But you gotta understand where I'm coming from. I got 12 years down here. Big investment. Man can't walk away from a long con like that. <laughs> Kills me to turn my fist to you. But business is business. Don't let it get you down. Won't make a difference when this whole place is fish food. <laughs> Hate to see you this way, kid. Hell, I was there when you were born. You ever have a dog you gotta put down? Breaks your heart. <laughs> Ryan's flesh and blood. Why'd I go to the trouble? Otherwise, you'd have been cut in two by the first security bot you crossed paths with. But not Ryan. He made it so his security would recognize his genetic structure. With half his genes, you ain't immune, but you got just enough to throw their metallic mooks off their game. <laughs> Adam's the ultimate score, kid. No more grifts, no more scams. A monopoly on Adam makes standard oil look like the Piggly Wiggly. All that's left is burying the bodies. And when they're already six miles under the Atlantic, you got one hell of a head start. <laughs> you think you're some kind of hero? I ordered you up from Suchong like a Chinese dinner. A little from column A, a little from column B. What do you plan on going back to? Your fake family? Your phony dreams? Putting you out of your misery will be the nicest thing anyone's ever done for you. <laughs> that Tenenbaum ain't what you think. Florence Nightingale, huh? 
that'll all come crashing down for you can say can tomatoes i've seen good bunko and i've seen great bunko but when you waltz through rapture and world war ii without even a scratch you got more than leprechauns watching over you What do you take me for? Some kind of mental incompetent? We tossed Mother Goose's roost the moment she decided to grow a conscience. You won't find nothing here, kid. Said maybe her memories. And trust me on this, you don't want them. I'm gonna miss this place. Rapture was a candy store for a guy like me. Guys who thought they knew it all, dames who thought they'd seen it all. Give me a smart mark over a dumb one every time. <laughs> Made Ryan good and mad when I started playing the charity angle. Fontaine's home for the poor. Before I knew it, I was calling myself Atlas and leading an army. Ryan and his precious rapture. You don't have to build a city to make people worship you. Just make the chumps believe they're worth a nickel. Not so quick, kid. I still got enough leash on that brain of yours to keep you from getting any closer to my roost. You broke the spell! But laying all your chips on Mother Goose, it's not like you've never been double-crossed before. You know what I'm saying? Hoof it to Point Prometheus. We'll discuss this like men. You, me, a submarine topside, and more at him than you can possibly imagine. Ha 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 ha! Alright, alright, you looking to slug it out? I'm game. But I got all the atom in the city, pal, and I ain't shy about using it. And now, I'm Jake to take her out for a spin. The mug's right behind me. I don't even want to see him walking. Last chance, kid. You pack it in now, and I'll leave this dump to you and Frau Kraut. You keep on coming, and Rapture's a fish tank. You're playing a bad hand, kid. You're just too spliced to smell it. Roll on back to Mother Goose now, or evidence gonna go busto. Shame things turned out this way, kid. You and me could have run the table in this place. Now there's nothing left for you but a long, cold nothing. <laughs> Look around you, kid. You think two-bit heroics count for a fig in this pit? You're staring down the puke stain of Ryan's busted dream. You think there's something worth saving down here? Then you deserve to goggle with the rest of these scrubs. <laughs> I turn tail if I were you, kid. Ain't nothing here for you but tears. <laughs> Look around you. There's nothing to save. Rapture's a mausoleum, a goddamn cemetery funhouse. And you and the Kraut is just ghosts. Just a matter of time till you realize it. <laughs> you push me too far, kid. When you're cold and stiff, I'm gonna go over to Mother Goose's house and I'm gonna take it apart piece by piece and brat by brat. Consider it your legacy. <laughs> Has Mother Goose really got her hooks into you? You can knock Ryan all you want, but the old man was bingo on one point of fact. You won't even walk till somebody says go. <laughs> you think turning yourself into one of those tin men is a two-way street? The crowd's holding auditions for the Frankenstein parade, and you're first in line. <laughs> 
You know, you should be thanking me. I brought you here. I showed you who you are. Nobody never told you nothing but lies till I come along. <laughs> Where you gonna go? Your life? Your family? They're a fairy tale, kid. No more real than something you read about in the Saturday Evening Post. Poor bastard. A motherless freak, whipped up in a half-baked science experiment. <laughs> I've got Rapture now. I've got the Atom now. You think that tin suit's even half enough to put the scare in me? <laughs> That's it, kid. It's been a long road. You don't even remember most of it. Put you on a sub when you were just a sprout. <laughs> <laughs> I really wound you up with that wife and child bit. Oh, me poor Moira. I me wee baby Patrick. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get me a real family. They play well with the suckers. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking. Never spliced up once the whole time I was down here in this aquarium. Figured it was bad to mix business with pleasure, but... Woo! Forget all the nose candy and floor polish I've been wasting time with. This stuff is the mother's milk! Ha! That might be plenty for the working scrubs and the pencil pushes, but I need more. More! I want to splice till there ain't nothing left to splice with! I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. Come on now, kid. You wanna get serious? You got nothing but deuces and threes, kid. You bust out, you hear me? I'm just getting jinx and you're spitting nickels. Come on! Make a move if you're gonna make it! I got Adam flowing into me, kid! You think you got power? You're 20 watts, and I'm the lights of Broadway! You think you can take me down? Who do you think it was who built you in the first place? When I'm done with you, I'm coming for Mother Goose and all her little eggs. No! Get them 
dreamed up and I tattooed inside your head. Now if you don't call that family, I don't know what it is. And now. Andrew Ryan said I was a rube. But he was wrong. I'm not the rube, Atlas. You are. <laughs> 